Hello, everybody. Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. My name is Jeff Aviano. Today, we're going to be doing some upgrades to our game. Yes, I know a lot of you guys have been really excited to see some upgrading uh, going on in a new truck instead of driving this uh, freight shaker. I think we're going to get another one. And I know I call it a freight shaker. That's just a uh, ongoing uh, joke between the fre freight liners. They call them freight shakers. Anywho, let's get started. So we need to go to company manager, uh, garage manager here. And let's look. We have Sacramento, tiny, just, n you know, nothing. We're making pretty much, you know, not very much money because we don't have anybody else. Now, I know I can go down to, like, Las Vegas and get a garage down there for the same kind of price range it would be to upgrade for another slot. And that's the smarter choice, but I don't feel like driving around to Las Vegas and dealing with all that crap. So we're just going to upgrade it. Uh, $180,000 worth. We'll hit yes. And at least it's $97,000. I don't think that's enough to buy a truck. I really don't think that's enough to buy a truck. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that that's not going to be a truck. Uh, we need to... Oh, look at this. The truck headquarters. Got three bays. Oh, that's nice. Capacity of 4,000 pounds in the back. Yeah, like we're ever going to use any of this equipment. It's just going to sit there and collect dust. Well, very nice. Well, it's nice to have a upgraded garage. I must say. Okay, like glitch there for a second. I'm not sure what that was about. But I'm staring at a black screen. There, there we go. All right, so now we can look at it. We're a small garage now. So our productivity is 100% right now. Uh, we can make up to, what, 75,000? Well, we can add some more people here. Uh, but uh, here's our statistics for the last seven days of driving. We're not going to be too involved in that right now. We're not doing the recruitment agency. We don't need another person yet. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to buy another truck outright unless I trade in this, which is fine because we can just buy another one later down the road and make it look just like it. All right, let's go to the Peterbilt in Bakersfield. Let's uh, visit that selected dealer and you'll see the truck that we're going to be using. Uh, this truck got a huge update finally, and it's one of my favorite of all time. Dun, 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 dun. The Freightliner Century. Yes. I know, I know. It's not the T600. Now, the reason why I'm not using the T600 is for some reason on the current version of American Truck Simulator I have, it does not draw in a steering wheel. And that looks really ridiculous. So we're just going to go with this old girl. Uh, list price is 158 I say we just trade it in uh, and work on this, this one, uh, mainly because... Uh, we don't have enough money to start our business up 100% yet. And I know you guys want to see a new truck. I want to drive a new truck. This is the one I originally was going to buy. Uh, and I worked so hard on uh, unlocking this level to get this truck. Just to find out that the version it had, I did not like it at all. So they've updated it. They finally put better sounds in it. Um, and all that good stuff. So... It's an older, conventional kind of nose uh, truck, but we're going to drive it for a while uh, until we start uh, getting some more money rolling along. And now we have a bigger garage where we can hire drivers, you know what I mean? So that's going to be the main thing right now is to uh, hire drivers and make more money. Oh, wow, that is really low. Let's go ahead and bring our, uh, well, let's go ahead and center our track IR first. Uh, and we'll bring this guy up, uh, our seat adjustment. Need to do that. Let's bring this guy up. Oh, there we go. Ooh, I'm liking this uh, interior, though. Uh, let's go with that. Let's bring our head movement down a little bit right there. Looks good. Fantastic. Uh, the seat maybe back a little bit more. We can see that mirror. I don't want to be too far back, but, you know, enough to see a little bit. I think that looks pretty decent. I don't know about you guys. Maybe right there. Yeah, let's do that. Beautiful. All right, so I'll go ahead and reset. Here's the interior of the truck. Very nice. You know, it's got a sleeper back there and everything else. All right, let's fire it up and listen to it. Ooh, nice. Oh yeah, we don't have a we don't have a nice horn, but we have a we have that going on for us. Oh, that, I don't like that curtain right there. So that just tells me that we're too far back. So let's just get ourselves uh, fixed here real quick. We'll bring that seat forward a little bit more. I don't mind looking over at the mirror, you know what I mean? I want to be able to look down a little bit more. There we go, right there. Let's try this. Let me recenter my stuff. All right, so now we can look over there and look over there. Okay, I'm happy with that. Put her in first gear. 
All right, beautiful. I'm here in Bakersfield, so we're going to pick up a job here in Bakersfield for our first one. But let's uh, do a little bit of improvements to the truck. We're going to keep uh, the truck white. I know it's black right now, but I want to paint it white. I'm thinking I'm going to go with that. I don't know. I haven't decided, but that's what I'm leaning towards so far. All right. So I'm pretty happy with it so far. It's, uh, you know, it's it's a total different truck than what we were driving before. And that's what I wanted to do. I was like, I want to drive something that uh, we haven't driven before, uh, you know. Okay, so let's uh, start off here. Looks like uh, it's some colors, custom color. Let's just go with white. I think white will be good. Yeah, let's go with white. Uh, I like the painted, ooh, there's different bumpers. Uh, as soon as you go into this, it just breaks the game. Okay, so as soon as I chose that bumper, it just like broke the game. So I think what we're gonna have to do is just, I mean, have to do this one by one. Let's do some Goodyear tires. Ooh, I like those. Goodyear tires. And see if we have enough money for this. Confirm the order. Well, we had enough money for that. That's nice. But yeah, I mean, like these, this mod is just like breaking everything. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. What do we got here on the side? We've got, oh, we got stripes. Ooh, no, not the blue. I like the, ooh, I like that red and orange. That looks good with that. I say we go with that. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this one at a time just so I can make sure that I, uh, you know, cause I mean, I'm breaking the game right now. I just want to make sure that I can afford everything that I buy here. Um, ah, it looks, it's looking pretty good so far. Although these mirrors, I don't know about those mirrors. Let's see what you get. Options for the mirrors. Oh yeah. I like those. I do like those. Can we afford those? No, we cannot afford those. Can we get any painted mirror? No, we cannot get any painted mirror. Okay, well, I think that's probably all we can do for this thing right now. Uh, then we get a little GPS thing. Can we afford that? No, we cannot. <laughs> all right, well, I mean, we're off to a good start, right? I think so. All right, so we confirmed our order. Let's go ahead and leave. And check out the new stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it. I'm liking this truck so far. Although, I'm going to have to restart the game uh, to try to get it a little more legit so we get our text back. I don't know why it broke the text. And we're not going to worry about that too much. Oh, look how beautiful this truck is. I think we're going to like it, guys. I think we're going to like it a lot. So I'm going to restart the game and we're going to get get to trucking. Okay, we have our Freightliner now, and we've been moved to Sacramento. So let's go to the job market and go to Freight Market. Let's have a look around here. We're here in Sacramento. Let's find some jobs, shall we? Find some gerbs. We got a USA Enterprises truck here to Barstow. Well, that'll be a fun trip. Let's do that one for our first run in this truck. Uh, we'll hit set GPS destination, and let's, uh, let's try this baby out. I'm excited. I hope you are. Um, I know the last version of this truck was from Euro Truck Simulator 2, and uh, it just didn't come over very well uh, as far as a port. Um, but, ooh, look at this. Ooh, I am liking this so far. Very beautiful. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, center our track IR up. Let's fire this baby up. Oh, nice little Sony pop up out of there. I'm liking this. Let's turn our uh, parking lamps on and back up. Ooh, this thing takes a lot more pedal uh, than the old classic did. But remember, uh, you know, when we were in the gr in the uh, upgrade shop, <laughs> if every time I would go to like the upgrade shop, it would just mess all the text up in the game. And that's probably not legit or at all. But it was doing that. And I couldn't really change out engines. Doesn't really matter. I couldn't change engines or uh, uh, transmissions because I don't have any money to do it anyway. We kind of, uh, you know, made ourselves go broke trying to get this company off the ground. So this will be a good company truck to give away. And then we can get the one that we want later down the road. All right. We are making a left out of here. Okay. So we're just going right around the corner. But yeah, I added uh, some more, a couple more mods. Uh, the trailer weight increase. Um, mod so the trailers aren't as light as they are by default uh, as well as I added uh, Jazzy Cats 
uh, tr uh, classic cars in the AI. Very cool. Oh, we just passed our spot. Good lord. I did not realize it was literally right there. That was nothing. Good job, Jeff. Good job. All right. No big deal. And I'm just getting used to the old truck. What time is it? 6.34 p.m.? Man, if we go to sleep now, it'll just be pitch dark. Although, regardless, we're going to be driving through the night, I have a feeling. I do have a feeling. I do have a feeling about that. All right, so let's head over here to Walbert and pick up our trailer. I didn't even really pay attention to what we were picking up. Okay, that's one thing I don't like so far is that when I look left, it, like, hunches the camera view down. That's kind of weird. That's all right, though. We'll get, we'll get used to it. It's a new truck. So... You're never, you're not going to be perfect at it, you know, right out of the gate. So, all right, after this RV, we'll get going. But yeah, I have a lot more pedal. Uh, what I mean by that is I have to give it a lot more gas to get this thing rolling, which is different than, you know, the truck we had before. But again, that's just, you know, the difference in the engine. All right, that's our trailer over there on the other side of the Walbert one. All right, nice. I'm figuring it out. Ever so slight, Willie. We're, we're, we're going to get her. All right, truck. Come on. We got deliveries to make, buddy. We got stuff to get done. Here we go. Yeah, it's the only thing I don't like so far of the truck is just the fact that it does that. Where it, like, hides down. Hunches down. So, around the back here. There it is. Right there on the left. The U.S. Enterprises. Okay. Let's pop in here and tell them we're picking up a trailer. We're picking up a trailer. What do we got here? Uh, fruits, 64,198 pounds. See, the increase of the trailer weights, a lot more realistic. Maybe, just maybe. But uh, I think I like that because it'll it'll make the uh, Jake Prank not, you know, not so uh, overpowered. Okay, so I'm thinking in this truck, like somebody told me in the comments, the actual truck driver was like, you always go one and then you hit the button and you go into high and then that's a, like, like the sucking gear and that's how you roll through the gears. So I'm going to try that out on this truck. I know with the old classic, it didn't work that way, um, but I was wrong. You don't have to switch into neutral. He was right. You can just go right. You just hit the button and it goes right into the next gear. So that's pretty cool. It's a little bit different. Uh, technique to what I'm used to, but we'll get it ever so slightly. It's going to turn our our hazards on here in the yard as we pick up our first trailer of the new truck. I'm excited. Parking brake and attach it. Let's look at this thing. Oh, it's legit. I do like that. I do like that a lot. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. All right. Well, let's get going. No need to waste any more time. We're making a right out of here, so just watch both sides as we pull out. Uh, it's going to start raining, isn't it? On our first run, it's going to start raining. I have that probability so low and it's going to rain. Maybe it'll just rain very, very, very slightly, you know? I'm hoping that's what it's going to be. All right, around that way. Yep, we're good. All right, so I got to remember to hit that button to switch gears. So we'll go up through it like this. Then hit it. Yep, that's how you do it. And then we go into second. Oh, have to hit the button to go back into this one. Aha. And let me explain to you how I'm doing it too with this, because you'll see on uh, when I have this up. And there's those stutters. There are those stutters. You guys were talking about, you know, that they're happening to you too. So here, let's put us in one L. You can see it right there. I'm gonna pull out. And then hit that button will be in 1H now, see? And then we go into, hit the button, go down to 2L. Then we hit the button, and then too high, and so on and so forth. We hit, go into neutral, hit the button, and then we go up into third, or 3L. As we get up where we want to shift, we hit the button, now we're in 3H. So it's just flipping that switch on the actual, uh, you know, thing. That's really cool. It's gonna. It's a weird technique. It's totally different than what I'm used to. It's gonna take a little bit of you getting used to. So, if you see me missing shifts and stuff, that's what's gonna be happening here. And I apologize for that. But a whole new uh, technique, that's for sure. I might actually keep that window up just so I can get used to it. Cause we need to launch off and low. There we go. There we 
we go. That's very strange. It's weird. It just doesn't seem right. It seems like you would have to move that over, but I guess that's how you do it. I guess, I guess. All right, let's make a right turn and get on the highway up here. I think we got to hit the button here and then go up into... Nope, nope, nope. One high, not one low. Oh. Man, this is going to be so weird to get used to. Driving it that way. Nope. And then see, that's not enough. You gotta go in 2L. Maybe. Maybe. I think we have to go like this. 1H. Nope. 1 low. Nope. 1 low is as low as it goes. But we, we remember we have a really heavy trailer, too. That's alright. We got a yield sign anyway, so it works out for everybody. Wait for these cars, because we're gonna get killed trying to get on this damn road. Alright, after this guy. Come on with this. It's waiting for to get on the highway is so ridiculous. Look at this. Yeah, because that's realistic. That's realistic as hell. Come on, let's go. Hit the button. Now we're in 1H. There we go. And then hit the button down into the this guy. Nope, not doing it. There's 2L. Too high. <laughs> Man, I got my hands full today. I'll tell you that right now. The third low there's 3h all right i think i'm starting to understand it a little bit better but it is tough to remember what you know which one you have flipped in the real truck i assume that would be a little bit easier because um you could uh, uh we probably go into four now but we have to get up this hill uh, you know, you would know what gear you're in because of the way the switch is flipped up or down. I assume. I don't know. Let's try the Jake breakout on this off ramp here. See what it sounds like. So let's go into three low for that. So we'll hit the button and then we'll be ready for Jake breaking. All right. Very cool stuff. Turn our lights on. It's getting to be in the evening. Alrighty, let's do this. Go into this. That sounds good. That sounds really good. Watch our... Wow, we need to bring our... It's really going to come down on us, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You better believe it. You better believe it, bud. Alright. Let's see if we can remember. How to get through the gears again. Wow, it just... The weather really took a turn for the worse, didn't it? Yes, it did. There we go. There's 2H. And so on and so forth. It's just weird because then you have to pop it into neutral, hit the button, and be prepared to go into three low. So it's just, you know, it's just going to take a little bit of time to get used to that, to where I can memorize it as good as I did with the other truck, but... Hey, the rain's over. That was a very, very short-lived rain shower. But I'm very happy that it was. I didn't want it to be too crazy. Anywho, guys, happy, happy, happy Tuesday to all of you. I hope that your uh, week is off to a good start. Let's go into this mode. We'll go to 2H. Yep, that'll work. And we'll start a turn. Watch our trailer. We're good. Plenty of room here uh, in Stockton to get around. Turn too high, and then we can go into 2 up. Nope. Nope. Too high into. Go hit the button and then go into 3L. That's what it is. And then the 3 high. Gotta remember that L is what you want first. And we can go into 3H. Maybe. If not, downshifting wise, you have to hit the button. Oh, I think you can just hit the button and like that too. Yeah, you can. So that's kind of nice. You just gotta remember to hit the button before you do any changes, pretty much. Nope, nope. I'll get faster at it. We're getting it. 
I have to do another GoPro video on it so I can show you guys what I'm doing. There we go. All right, we're gonna try it without the uh, the helper. <laughs> I'll never. I mean, at least it's only four gears to manage, so that's not too bad. Not bad at all. I think we have an LL. I didn't even look and see if we have an LL, but I'm sure we do. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this. Look at the F. Alrighty. Sorry. I had to pop out real quick and get a uh, thumbnail shot. I always forget to do that, so I'm trying to discipline myself to do that again. So, here we are on 99. And we are... How many miles out? Oh, sorry. I'm going to Barstow. We're going... F5. There it is. 310 miles out, so we got a little ways to go. Okay, let me go in down and hit the button and then go into four low. There we go. See, I did it without even cheating. How about that? How about that? Toys R Us. Look at that. Very nice. Yeah, I like having these uh, increased weights of the trailers. It's the trucks don't seem so overpowered anymore with that, you know? And I know a lot of you uh, truck drivers, the real truck drivers that uh, watch this say, Man, we, we run loads double that and all that stuff from pretty much every load that we run, so it's nice to see uh, this come into play a little bit more. It's a little more challenging, too, because you have to pick the right gear for hills, and as you should have to. Man, I really like the road noise sound in this mod. You hearing that? Sounds really good. Like that woo. I believe that's from the uh, steel belts, isn't it? And the tires. Let's hear it coming down the hill. <laughs> I love it. But see, as we get some speed going, we can actually open up that uh, Jake brake. <laughs> I love the sound of that Jake. That's pretty good. It's a lot, a lot better than the one we had before. That's for sure. So yeah, we should be in 4H right now, and we're in 4L. So we got, we still have more gear to go if we want to, but if we want to sip some more gas, we can. So we just, we'll, all we gotta do is just let off the gas, hit, flip that switch, and look at that, we're in gas saving mode in 4H now, as you can see right there. So I'm getting used to it, it's taking a little bit of time, but that's how they do it. Uh, you know, in the real world, you flip that switch whenever you're going through your gears like that. And he said all you had to do is just blip the or just let off the gas and then flip the switch and then get back into it and it switches that gear out. So that's pretty cool. It's just a little bit different uh, driving technique than the last truck, but that's what's great about these modded trucks is um, you know each one's different to drive and you gotta adapt to it. I do love the visibility of this thing though. It's pretty good. It's really nice. It's really nice, Clark. I hope you guys had a good weekend. Do anything fun? I'm sure you did. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you had a boring weekend. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Had some great uh, live streams. Uh, Sunday was no exception. We did an uh, American Truck live stream. That was a lot of fun. I'm going to go ahead and set the cruise control for 55 right there. Or 57. That'll do too. That'll do nicely. Ooh, motorcycle right there but it's getting uh getting nice and warm here in st louis although it's supposed to rain this entire week but we had that first dry line of the year come through and uh, there were some storms uh, i believe there were some uh, tornadoes and stuff last night down in texas from what i can tell i don't know if it ever spawned any tornadoes i went to bed er earlier than that actually i was watching uh, pat's 24-hour uh, live stream he got uh the division and he did he's doing he's actually live right now doing the uh live stream a 24 hour live stream i'm like man you are crazy if you don't know who pat is pat is Oxrilla. he is um he's the uh the moderator in all my streams he's been he's been a good dear friend and moderator for many years uh in his support of the channel i mean we're talking back whenever i was first starting up so really 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 awesome and uh, he's been doing YouTube for fun. So if you want to give him some love, he's in the uh, I love you box on my channel. He's uh, he's Dutch. He speaks Dutch. So he's from um, 
the Netherlands, but he speaks English in his videos and streams uh, for everybody. So, and his English has gotten really good. It's getting much better than it ever was. So, go check Pat out. Really, really good guy. I enjoy watching his videos. They're high quality. And he's really good at games. Like, it's always, I think it's so nice to watch somebody be good at games. And I think, like, uh, I'm okay. I don't think I'm the best, but I'm okay. The things that I do enjoy and in the, in the games that I do love, I, I try to, I excel at and exceed at. Um, we played some Rainbow Six Siege yesterday, me, Bugs, and Polecat. And that video will already be out today. You probably watched it already. If you didn't, go check it out. Um, but uh, in that video, like, you know, it's a first person shooter and I'm like, ah, I'm not really good at those. And I couldn't figure out why. It was so frustrating. Turns out, getting a new mouse, I have a Mamba, uh, a Razer Mamba Tournament Edition. And having a mouse that's capable of, you know, what it is made the world of a difference. So I'm used to, uh, you know, on my old, I had an old uh, crappy wireless Logitech mouse and it was just not good for first person shooting at all. I just, I don't know what it was, the aim of it was bad or something. So it was really nice to redeem myself in that game, Rainbow Six. And I really like Rainbow Six. All right, we're gonna be slowing down up here. So let's go ahead and hit this guy and let's open up our toggle switch of the uh, Jake. I think we did all right there. I do, I do. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. We lost it. We lost it. We didn't kill it, did we? Yeah, we killed it. <laughs> Man, this is going to be tough. Are we in? Yeah, shut up back there. I'm going to hit the button. Okay, we're in that one. Nothing, really. This is too heavy to f to screw up. It's too heavy to screw up. Shut up back there, people. Nothing. Oh my god. Okay, so maybe the increased trailer weights for this game are not good. Nope. Wow. Just wow. This is going to be tough, man. Come on, you can do it. It just keeps breaking and rolling back. I mean, holy shit. 64,000 pounds. That truck just hit the brakes on us. Come on, come on, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. You got it. You got it. Crawl. Crawl, crawl, crawl. <laughs> we cannot let them do that to us again. We've got to keep a uh, high RPM up. That was totally my fault. I was not paying attention to that. I was too busy messing with the Jake brake for the first time on a, you know, a, getting off the highway. All right. Hit the button. Then hit the button again. Go into second. Nope. Can't find it. Grind it. There she goes. All right. But if you guys have some, uh, you real truck drivers, if you have some input on uh, the best way to manage a truck like this with these kind of gearing sets, you know, feel free to uh, leave your two cents. I do appreciate that. I like whenever people actually know how to drive trucks and say, hey, you know, it's easier to do it this way or whatever. This is how we do it. But the people that uh, just play, you know, the, if you don't know anything about that, there's no reason to chime in about it, essentially. All right, cool. Bakersfield, Bakersfield. I think we're going to Barstow, I thought. Maybe we are going to Bakersfield. No, we're definitely going to Barstow. So we're just taking this uh, little two-laner. 
This is a fun, this is a little fun spot. This is the one that has the uh, roller coaster hills. <laughs> We're managing 30 miles an hour pretty good here. I'll get over in this lane though, so these people can go around us. I'm sure they're pretty upset with us about that whole ordeal. Probably not happy with us at all, I would imagine. Good God, come on. Trying to find out how to get that just right. There we go. Don't do it, cars. And this is that town that we had that accident in, so I don't trust them for a second. All right, we're good there. This is a mind, this is a mind fuck right now. With the gears. All right, we're fine now. We're rolling again. We need to get over. They can let us over. Not today. Nope, not gonna happen. All right, he did finally. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that. All right, fantastic. On the road again. Let's get her back up to speed now. But yeah, if you guys install that trailer weight mod, just be forewarned. Don't get stuck on a hill like I did. It's bad, really bad. Nope, wrong button. I can never remember if I'm in L or high. The only problem. Recruitment agency there. Turn our bright lights on here. Gonna get the 65 miles per hour through here. Yeah, if we ever make it to that, we're gonna need some more gear out of this thing. Whew. There we go. But yeah, you have so much more uh, pedal travel to rev match than we did before. And that's taking some getting used to. Let's go ahead and wrap this baby out. Let's get like 1,800, 19, 2,000 RPM in gears so we can get going. Oh, here's the fun hills. <laughs> I love these hills. How are we on fuel? We're fine on fuel. Things are getting pretty good fuel mileage so far. I've got to say. And we should be in 3L, all right? Or, yeah, we should be in 3L. And we're in 3H. Okay. I meant 3H. <laughs> Whatever the highest gear was on that. So when we go, we got to switch down into the low gear of 4 now. So there's 4L. Tumbleweeds everywhere. So I do apologize if my driving's off a little bit. It's just going to take a minute for me to get used to this stuff again. Come on, baby. Up the hill. No, not going to happen. Just going down shift. Third seems like it's going to be the sweet spot on this road. I mean, the speeds we're getting are absolutely atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. All right. There we go. We get some speed back up in this baby. I mean, we're, we're, we're where we need to be. I mean, right there, climbing a hill in the green, that's what we want to be at. No reason to be upset about that. I'll tell you that right now. Wrap this baby out. Come on, get some speed up in this truck. But once we, we get some speed going like this, we gotta get up this another hill. So I'm not gonna switch into fourth. If I would've switched into fourth, then we would've just bogged down up that hill again. Woo. This definitely, the uh, trailer weight mod definitely does add a new challenge to the game. But I like that. I do. Ooh, shooting star, make a wish. Did you make a wish? Don't tell me what it was. All right, we're making a left up here. So we're in, we should be in three um, high now, which we are. So we'll want to go down into three L right here. So it's three, three L. Oh, sorry, buddy. I had my brights on my, that was my fault. And uh, we're just, yep. Yeah. I'm just gonna put it in neutral because I completely lost control of what gear I'm in. Oh my lord. 
I've never felt so out of place. I'm usually not this bad. But what are you going to do? Okay, we're in 1L. Looking like a little, f a little foggy out here. A little foggy. But I think it's just it's supposed to be the moon light. The night of the neon moon. Come on, cars. Making left on this highway is never fun. I know there's a uh, pro mod, like not pro mod, but a uh, a new map out there that uh, fixes a lot of these kind of that kind of stuff. All right, there we go. We're good now. In the hang of that. Wrap this baby out because we're gonna need all the speed we can up this hill. We need to get over it too. Okay, we're, we're clear. Even though that car came over. Hey, it's not my fault, buddy. Come on. Can we get in third? Yes, we can. Hey, the sun's coming up finally. We're gonna be dropping off up here anyway, so. That's A okay. Get the back in the trailer with our new truck. It's always fun. It's so weird to not shift between two gears. You know, I'm so used to double clutching, going into neutral and then neutral to the next. But you don't do that in this case. All right, let's not screw this up, right? Am I right? I think so. I think I am right on this one. There's third. We're going to go down into second here in a minute. Second high, so I'm going to go. Neutral, hit the button, second high, don't mess it up. Keep that speed up, keep that speed up. There we go, just like that. We redeemed ourselves. <laughs> That's always good, oh man, the brakes. I think I might have been the one L there. Yep, I was. So we just gotta go into neutral, hit the button, and the second. All right, I got it now. All right, we make a right up here and not too much further on this run. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's hit the button and we'll go down to this guy. Cause we should be in, yep, 1L. Let's watch that side. We're all right now. Ha ha! Figured that out. Right up here after the donut, it looks like. It's gonna be a little bit further than that. We gotta make a left of the light. And then it's back there. And then it's behind all that mess. Oh, you know, I made a cup of coffee and it got cold. Isn't that the worst? When you make a cup of coffee and you forget about it and it turns cold. That's all right. Nothing a microwave can't fix. We'll nuke it. Okay. See, this is the this is the tricky part is remembering what gear I was in. But I'll hit the button and go into first. Nope, that was wrong. That was a wrong one. That's all right. We figured it out. No, I'm in that gear. Okay. So strange. So backwards to what I'm used to. All right. We made it here. Oh, it's this drop off. Okay. This is an easy one. I like this drop. Although I hate it whenever they have it way over there on the side. It's a little more skillful than, uh, than you would think. The one that's closer to the wall. I think it's, I think it's harder when it's further away because you overcompensate for it too much. All right, let's see if this thing has a lower look. An LL. It does. It just doesn't have a number. It's just a black thing on this. All right, so it does have a LL. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and pull up all the way here. All right, that's probably gonna be good right there. So we're gonna put it in reverse one and start to back in this trailer in. Watch that side there. Watching the car over there, which is fine. 
Because once we get a nice uh, curve here like this, we'll start following the trailer back. Just watching that car right there through that little mm, little uh, slot. We're all right. Hold that. We might curb it a little bit. Yeah, I'm not happy with the curb. We can do better than that. Let's make it a little bit better. Let's do a better job. Let's show them that we're not amateurs here. This is an amateur LV. I, I only messed up because I didn't want to run into that car. You know what I mean? So we're just going to wait for the car. After the car, then we'll start to uh, really, we'll start cutting the trailer. So there's that Mustang there. And there's the nose. We're cool on that. Now we can follow the trailer back. And make it ever so slightly. There's no more cars over there. That's nice. Whenever there's cars there, you have to really compensate for those things. So you have to turn it a little tighter than you normally would have to. But it's okay. And then if you start getting a little cockeyed, you know, just don't feel don't feel bad to pull up. That's what you should do. In this situation right here. Right there. There you go. So therefore you don't get too out of control with the trailer. All right, we're fine now. And the right side looks clear. Yep, we're good. Got to back it straight on into that little spot back there. And you can do this on the first shot pretty easy if you can uh, follow the trailer, you know, correctly. But if you mess up a little bit, you're going to pay for it. And you're going to have to pull up on the curb and everything else on that right curb over there. Yeah, you'll have to do that. So keep that in mind. We're going to try it on the first shot, but I just don't think we're going to get in there on, for a new truck, you know, for the first time. If we do, then we're doing all right, but you never know. Now we'll start turning the trailer like that and then start following it back. And I'm just kind of riding that clutch a little bit ever so slightly. A little bit more turn than that. About right there and then follow her back. We're going to be a little cockeyed, so let's go ahead and go ahead and pull up into the right. So we can get that trailer straightened out. There we go. And then follow it back. Follow her back just like that. And ever so slightly go in there. Watch that right side. It's clear. Yep. Looking good. Looking pretty good on this one. Right like that. A little bit more. There we go. And straight. Go straight right here. And we'll pull up. We're good. Fantastic. Pull that parking brake. Let's have a look at our parking job. Pretty happy with that. I'm really loving this truck. I really am liking it. It's different. It's my favorite uh, truck of all time, pretty much. The Freightliner Century has always been my favorite truck. Uh, let's go ahead and unload. Let's see what we got here. Excellent. 367 miles. 11 hours, 20 minutes, 87.7 .7 gallons of fuel was consumed. Man, that thing sipped some gas. That was pretty good. Um, and we're getting closer to level 17. Ever so slightly. Ever so slightly. Well, guys, tell me what you think of my new truck. I like it a lot. It's going to become a company truck later down the road. We'll probably... I, I just love the older trucks. So I'll probably end up driving one of those myself. But we're, you know, breaking this one in for the company. Uh, as we get J and B trucking off the ground, finally. <laughs> so we got a garage. Um, we need to start hiring some drivers, but we need to make money because we're broke. Nine thousand one hundred sixty-six. I'm thinking we're gonna have to take a loan out. I really am thinking we're gonna have to take another loan out. But let's look at the email real fast before we go, and we can help you grow. Overdraft settled. Uh oh, not good. We have that. Drivers with own equipment needed for Walbert and Redding need money. We can help. We can help you grow. Couldn't it? Yeah, steady earnings. Yep. So they brought us up to 500,000 if we want it. So I'm, I'm trying not to go into debt, but it's been happening. And we're, yeah, we're 9,166 in debt. Is that what that is? I think that's negative. Yeah, I think so. Anywho, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, even if we run this uh, coming into the ground, I still enjoy trucking and, uh, and bringing you guys along for the ride. So with that said, I'll see you guys on Thursday. Take care.